Okay, this is Don Browning with part two, coming from the headquarters of the Department of Community Empowerment Project here in Wearsdale, Florida. Okay, this is the OCR complaint 04171545, Marion County School District. Stanton Wearsdale School and the walk-in zone where there is utter discrimination in violation of the Civil Rights Bill, Title VI. We'll start this video in this series uh, with this scene at the front of the school because this is the walk-in zone and the bus-in zone for the Stanton Wearsdale School. Now please notice to the left is the 70-year-old road that goes to the black community. It is a school road, but it doesn't have sidewalks, any of the amenities that are afforded. The white area. Now this is the white area, and it has easements, follows state law, federal law, and local law. Now this is the white area and the standards for the Stanton District. This is the standards and the walk-in area in the black community. And so we start part two. Now the violation of Title VI is, it's very insidious. Uh, the school district would have you believe that this whole walk-in zone, now I'm gonna pan back and you see the walk-in zone and I've created kind of uh, a target, just uh, rings, if you will, very crude. But in the center is the school, and it was brought in. It was segregated, 100% black. Then they bust in children, so they they solved the problem of bringing in whites. So now we have an integrated school. However, this first ring right here is not integrated. Uh, it is the the area that's totally void of all services for the walk-in zone. Now, as we expand the zone, we get into the second band, we go across this road and we suddenly go white and that area now has no problems at all. The school district maintains that as you move out from the center of the target into the more populated part of the walk-in zone, that the the, uh, the discrimination doesn't exist because statistically, the center of the target is a very small part of the population. And the big part of the population is up in the white area. In this entire white area, a student can walk all the way into the targeted black area and never have to leave the sidewalk. However, the blacks have to walk through a real problematic, muddy, uh, unsafe area, discriminatory area, in order to get to the school. This is why Title VI was adopted. Now let's take a look at what's happening on the ground. Let's leave the black area. Let's leave the school. Let's look at the white walk-in area. Okay, here we are, right in the middle of the white area, white walk-in zone for the Stanton School District, Marion County School District. Okay, you can see there's all sorts of amenities. There's even right-of-way, paving, sidewalks, safety features, all at no additional cost provided by the county and by the school district. In this part of the walk-in zone, a student can go all the way from his home directly to the school, never having to walk through the muddy terrain that the black kids have to endure. It's been well over a hundred years for this community. This is the black area. No, zero amenities, zero services for the walk-in zone. As soon as we cross that highway up ahead, the, the, the county road, uh, we will lose all these amenities like railings, culverts, safety signs, uh, anything that would be 
normal and appropriate for this area, for Marion County. Okay, so here we have County Road 42. This is the demarcation point. On the north side, it's white and privileged. And the federal funds are spent very nicely up there. In the last 10 years, all these sidewalks, all these improvements were put in. Now let's go to the south and continue down this little road um, uh, to Stanton Wearsdale School. Ahead is the Stanton Wearsdale School. The Marion County School District now does not enforce Title VI. As soon as we go down these roads, these are school roads. This is a school maintenance road. Come along so with Phil, me. Here's what you arrive at. You never had to put, if you're a white kid coming from the white area, you never had to put your foot off the sidewalk. And there's your school. Now let's see what happens if you're going into the colored town. Now here's what happens in the colored area. We don't even have, not only do we not have a sidewalk, uh, but we don't even have a culvert. Here's what's going on if you're colored. Now remember, for over 70 years, this was the primary walk-in. This was the walk-in zone for generations of black children. This deplorable access road to the black school shows why we have Title VI. Title VI, right here is where this road was used. That gate, everything went in for 50 years. This is a county road. It was the county access. It's the only other safety way in and out. And there is your street sign. The county can change these signs from green to white to avoid all responsibility. The road is switched to private. So let's get out of the vehicle for just a moment. Uh, let's just take a look at uh, the school, the road. This is the road that supplied the school through those gates. The trucks, all services, all meals, everything came up this road. However, the school district would have you believe that these roads were actually non-existent. They go back to Brown versus Board of Education when they put in the school and because it was colored, small colored community, they didn't actually record the road. Even the right-of-way, which is a state statute between the telephone poles, uh, is not right-of-way because this is a com colored community. That statute, 95-361, Florida statute, uh, clearly allows for maintenance. Uh, after four years of maintenance, it allows the maintenance creates title with the public. Now we've come to the end of Section 2. Now select Section 3 and continue. The Marion County Stanton-Wearsdale Community Solutions Project.